Northern Chile is a magnet for astronomers, thanks to its clear skies and dry conditions. Last month I got to visit the region for myself. My first stop was the Paranal Observatory, which sits 2,600 metres above sea level. It's home to the Very Large Telescope, one of the most used telescopes in the world. Along with visiting astronomers, this is where I got to stay. The residence was featured in the James Bond movie A Quantum of Solace, and some movie props have been left behind. The swimming pool and plants help to counteract the dryness outside and make for a more comfortable place to live and work. Even so, everyone wears moisturiser here. The Very Large Telescope is actually made up of four huge telescopes. Each one can image objects four billion times fainter than what our eyes can see. In addition, there are four smaller, movable telescopes with round domes. All eight telescopes can work together to create images with incredible detail. Every evening at sunset, the giant doors open to give astronomers a glimpse of the sky at visible and infrared wavelengths. Using images from the VLT, astronomers have found the oldest star in the universe and imaged planets far beyond our solar system. 20 kilometres away is another mountain called Cerro Armazones, which is 3,060 metres above sea level. To get there, we drove across the Atacama Desert, along a dirt track strewn with boulders. It looks like the surface of Mars. The top of this mountain could be blown off in 2012 to lay the foundations for a new telescope. The European Extremely Large Telescope will be as long as a football field, and will gather a hundred million times more light than the human eye. Later, we drive through mining towns and beautiful desert landscapes to a region that's even more arid. The slightest moisture in the atmosphere can block longer wavelengths of light, so here astronomers are able to make their observations. After a safety briefing about altitude sickness, we drive up the mountain road. The vegetation changes each time we reach another 500 metres above sea level. Finally, we reach striking snow formations at an altitude of 5,000 metres. This is Chatnanjor Plateau, home to one of the highest observatories in the world. It's here astronomers are building a new telescope array called ALMA. Temperatures here can reach minus 20 degrees Celsius, and the winds can top 100 kilometres per hour. The 66 dishes that will eventually make up Alma have to withstand these harsh conditions. No one works up here unless they have to. The dishes are assembled at a lower site and transported up by monster trucks. Alma is currently made of 20 dishes, each one measuring 12 metres across. It's already the largest telescope of its kind for studying the conditions in cold clouds of molecular gas and dust where new stars are born. It also looks for radiation left over from the Big Bang. We didn't stick around Alma for very long. The air is so thin that my head started to pound and I couldn't think clearly. My tour didn't only teach me about the astronomical instruments this region is home to. It also made me understand what astronomers have to endure physically and physiologically to broaden our understanding of the cosmos.